Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. This is this problem where you have to locate the centroid uh, X bar, Y bar, and C bar of the wire bent in the shape uh, shown. So when you have these problems that you have one weird shape that can be divided into different shapes. This is a, you basically have to do a table and basically solve for X bar, Y bar, and C bar, and it's super easy. So this wire is divided into three shapes. This shape right here, this shape right here, and this shape. Now each of each of this uh, shape has a centroid, and you know it just by eye, which the centroid of let's call this shape one is here. The centroid of shape two is right in the center, right there, and the centroid of shape three is right in the center, right there. Now, now that we visually have it, then let's just build our table. Now I warn you. I like to convert everything to meters. I don't like to work with millimeters. So you know that 300 millimeters is equal to 0.3 meters. 600 millimeters is equal to 0.6 meters. And 400 millimeters is equal to 0.4 meters. That being said, let's get started building our table. So. First, we need L, which is the length of each of these pieces. Normally, this would be the area, but there it's a wire, so it just has a length. Then we have X curly, Y curly, and C curly, which are the locations of each of the centroids that we just, which is true. Then you have X curly times L, Y curly times L, and C curly times L. And we have three pieces, one, two, three. All you gotta do is remember how to do this table, which is super easy, and then the problem will almost solve itself. Remember in math, you gotta be organized, otherwise you're gonna make silly mistakes. And you don't wanna fail a test because you were not organized and you just made a little, a very common mistake. Anyways, so let's go for the lengths. The length of one is 0.3 meters. Everything's in meters, just so you know. The length of two is 0.6, and the length of the third one is 0.4. Easy, right? Okay, so each of the X, X curly, Y curly, and C curly is basically the points of each of these three centroids. So the first one is located at point 15, zero, zero, which is this one. Second one is located at point three. 0.3 and 0, which is this one. And the last one is located at 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and negative 0.2, which is this one right here. Now that you have the points, all you have to do is multiply L by each of the points, and that's what each of these things are. So the first one is 0.3 times 0 0.15, which becomes 0 0.045, and the rest is 0, 0. Second one is 0 0.6 times 0 0.3, which is 0 0.18. 0 0.6 times 0 0.3 again is 0 0.18 and then zero. And then the last one's 0 0.4 times 0 0.3, which is 0 0.12, 0 0.24, and negative 0 0.08. Now, you have to do the sum and the sum over here. Of L. Sum of L and sum of the points. So the sum of L is 
which you get by adding this three values. Uh, the same idea for X, uh, X, L, Y, L, and C, L. You do the sums and you get 0 0.345, 0 0.42, and minus 0 0.08. And now we're ready to solve this. Which is super easy, guys. X bar is simply equals to XL over L. Y bar is equal to Y curly L over L. And you get the idea. You basically plug the numbers in. These numbers. And this number into these equations. 0.345. 1.3 so this is 0.265 meters this is 0.42 over 1.3 which is 0.323 meters and the last one is minus 0.08 over 1.3 minus 0 0.0615 meters so that's it this is the this is where the centroid is located. So let's try to draw it. 0.265 is somewhere over here, and then we go 0.323, which is a little bit after half, and then it's going down somewhere over here is the centroid. Final answer. Final answer.